guys, good morning. Rover Dude here. And here in Inverness, Florida. And oh my goodness, it is freezing out here. It is now 36 degrees. Yes, 36 degrees. Eight o'clock in the morning, headed to work. And uh, just thought I'd check in with you guys and let you know how everything is. I maneuver traffic here. As you can tell, my windows are all fogged up. See if I can wash them up a little bit. Because this car is frozen. I guess that's the disadvantage of having leather seats. Ouch. And unfortunately, mine doesn't have seat warmers. And I go figure, because it has everything else but seat, warm seat warmers. How could you not put seat warmers in a Discovery HSC? Really? Wow. Well, um, just doing my little talk about here. And uh, as I head to work, I have a short trip. It's only about maybe six minutes long. So I figured I'd do one of my little talks and just checking in and and letting you guys know what's uh, what's up for the future. Um, I have the Freelander. It's coming back home. Yay! Yeah, it's uh, the engine's done, and uh, I actually had a, uh, a friend of mine finish it up for me because with our move and work, I just don't have the time. Um, I am gonna do a video on it. A short short video as to what was done and uh, things like that so my next plan is once I get it here start with the the modifications to the suspension uh, as I can little by little because I am on a budget um, seeing as we just uh, purchased a home and uh, had to start a new job and everything so a lot of good stuff going on though and as soon as I can, um, I'm going to do some more exploration of the area. And uh, I do plan to hit the trails as soon as I can. And there's so many out here. It's incredible. I mean, it's just incredible. But, yeah, we're going to have the Freelander uh, to show you guys uh, some stuff that we want to do on it. And uh, it's going to be fun. I uh, can't wait. So right now, um, as you can tell, I'm headed down this uh, area here in Inverness and it's very hilly, a lot of hills out here and I love it. I love the scenery and the folks are all very nice. I uh, hope you guys have watched my videos. Uh, I have a couple rides that I stumbled onto um, and it's, it's uh, crazy how I run into these things. Yeah, I've got uh, John's vehicle out there and uh, his Veloster, really nice looking machine. And it's incredible, I mean, there is no age limit on what we can do. Uh, again, his machine was incredible. Um, I couldn't get into detail because we actually had to, we had to leave. But um, if I see John around again, I'm going to have him pop his hood so we can check it out. And then we have uh, the other rat rod, which was really cool. Uh, that had some extreme modifications to it. The airlift system on it, the engine, the LS1, um, supercharged. I mean, amazing, amazing vehicle. And to think that that, um, that person just did that on his spare time. I mean, he's got a shop, he's got a welding shop, which is awesome because you can do whatever kind of modifications you need, if, especially if you own a shop. But the way he uh, tastefully made that rod, I, I, really nice, very, very nice. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, it sounded amazing. Um, when he drove by, I, I noticed it right away. So check out those rods, and uh, I did put some, some clips, some uh, photos, my favorites out there, uh, Freelanders. Um, I may do one on Land Rovers, 
uh, through the years and also one on um, discoveries through the years and my, my all two favorites are, are the older Range Rovers of course the older uh, discos and I mean there's just there's just so many different styles it's, it's unbelievable but I mean I'm sure everybody's got their favorites from the new ones all the way to the older ones so enjoy my, my videos I'm gonna put some more out there some different photos and stuff so you guys can can enjoy them if you got any comments you're looking for something uh, particular on one of the uh, Range Rovers discos or Land Rovers let me know I'll do the research for you and uh, I'll post technical data if I can track it down I'm pretty sure I can and also uh, how to resolve your issue so definitely give me give me a shout out Leave a comment for me and uh, I will get back to you. I'm trying to, I'm working on uh, putting an email address down, a Gmail address, so that way you guys can reach out to me too if you're looking for something in particular. And again, I'll put you on and I'll, I'll let everybody know what it is you're looking for. And I'm pretty sure there's other folks out there that have issues with the same things. But uh, not a problem. Uh, we're here. We're here. We'll work it out and we'll find out the uh, way to resolve your issue okay so again uh, I really want to thank you guys for watching and helping me grow as a uh, as a as a production person in my videos uh, it's all me it's all natural I don't have a crew or or entourage that helps me produce all these videos or whatever it's just me and my daughter basically and my wife helps out so uh, again I appreciate it and I'm just about keeping it real that's all so thanks again guys I appreciate you watching and subscribe and comment let me know uh, what kind of project you're looking for or if you have an issue with a, with a Range Rover, Land Rover, Discovery whatever it may be and uh, we'll figure it out I'll, I'll, I'll get as much technical information for you as I can alright so thanks again guys and as always, Rover Dude out. Hey guys, Rover Dude here. Um, I just parked at the Walmart near the house and I seen this really cool car. Um, I want to show you guys. So I'm going to step out here a sec <clears throat> and I don't see the owner around anywhere. This thing is like really neat, all right? So uh, I'm gonna flip it over. All right guys, so this is the ride that I saw. And again, I was just pulling out. And it's amazing the things you can see here in the Inverness area. This is a really nice custom ride. <clears throat> and you can see he's got it kind of like ratted out a little bit, but it's very tasteful. Very, very nicely made looks really cool and uh, of course he's got the airbag system on it uh, which you can see right here right there right about right there you can see the airbag system okay and it looks like this is a daily driver and he's got a Instagram on here And I'm wondering what he's got under the hood here because it looks looks to be a larger size motor from the open uh, area on his hood here. But a very nice Dodge pickup truck. Extremely cool. And I'm going to go around the other side so you guys can get some pictures. I imagine he's prepping it for paint or it could be possibly a rat rod. I'm not sure. Again, the owner's not here. So I can't ask him about it. <coughs> kind of chilly out here. And it looks very, very cool. Alright guys, I'm going to take another little bit of the back here so you guys can see it.
very cool ride. All right, more to come as I stumble onto more and more of these vehicles here in Inverness. Who would think, right? Well, rubber dude out. <laughs>